Yes, Matt Webber, on your radio from 3 o'clock this afternoon. Wow, I am just looking at a map of how far my next guest has travelled. It's, it's a globe. Well, we live on it, uh, and it is fairly, fairly impressive. But of course, they are the words, that is the description that a number of mutual friends have used to describe my next guest. Amazing, heroic, determined, <laughs> he's shaking his head, brave and risky. After 11 and a half months at sea, you know, give and take, Give or take, Taj Davis only just made the last leg from Vanuatu on his journey from the US, but he refused to be rescued. He joins me now with his dad, Steve Davis. Taj, I know your dad probably won't clip you over the head for being so stubborn, but I definitely can. What were you thinking, young man? Uh, so I'd, I'd been sailing a lot in, in the US for, for a few years, and... Uh... It was time to go back to Australia. You know, I'd been I'd been out of the country over six years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I always wanted to, to cross an ocean. So I figured, why not, why not the South Pacific, right? <laughs> so tell me how it all began. You Did you sail over to the US initially by yourself? No, I, I flew over there in 2011 to visit family. Mm -hmm. uh, originally for six months was the plan. Um, and ended up getting a sailboat. You know how these things happen. Yes. And spent few years cruising the east coast and, and the caribbean and and then you yeah, start thinking where you're going to go after that right? yes so but you you ended up staying staying in the states yes yeah yeah you know you get <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you know, I, I have dual citizenship so uh, that's quite handy so yeah you know you get a job and a girlfriend and all that stuff and yeah before you know it it's been it's been five years yeah so why come back oh it it had it was time to hang out with the family and mm -hmm. I mean, Australia, you, when you travel, especially to America, not to disparage America at all, but you realize how cool Australia really is. Yeah. So to th I started to miss it after a while and you know, mum and dad, I didn't see dad for six years. Yes. Um, yeah, I just, it was time to come home. Yeah, right. So you decided not just to hop back on a plane though, Taj, which is uh, probably, I was, you know, I spoke to your mum, Sheila and and uh, yeah, she she still looks like she's only just recovered from your journey. <laughs> you decided to sail back by yourself on a yacht, not a not a huge yacht. Not a huge yacht. Well, the plane trip is is kind of long, so I figured. <laughs> well, a boat's longer. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's quite quite a small yacht, not too small. Yes. Um, nine meters, or so. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the thing to do. It's a good boat, and. A lot of good places to see along the way. Yeah. So, I mean, to fly back and stop at, you know, 40 different islands is a bit expensive. So, We'll get to the last leg of that journey in okay. just a moment uh, because it sounded like it was, look, quite hairy. <laughs> when, I've, when I've read about it myself, it sounds like quite the journey. And yeah. I can't imagine how your dad, Steve, uh, is feeling after uh, after your, your son not taking any assistance. Well, that's right. He... I was really proud of what he did, and yes. I encouraged him the whole way. I've been a sailor much of my life. I've done a, most of a Sydney to Hobart yacht race. Yes. So to me, there was a risk involved. He went in knowing that risk, and I was right behind it. I, you know, there were a few moments there, but you know, it was it was exciting to watch. It was a bit nerve wracking at times, and just you know, very proud of him. It's an achievement. He can do anything in his life. He can do anything yeah. after that. Yeah. Taj, now is the time to declare. Anything you didn't tell your parents about in terms of scariest moments? Like you've probably said to them, look, you know, sure, I was raided by pirates, but <laughs> but it was fine. Are there any moments you haven't declared to them yet where you, it was where you really thought you were going to have trouble surviving? Well, I'm the, that last leg there was uh, the first time I ever really thought, you know, maybe I won't make it. I mean, I knew I would have made it. But I didn't know if the boat was going to make it with me, you know? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, the general fear that I never really spoke about was maybe falling overboard. I mean, I always tried to mitigate that risk. But, yeah, that's something you don't really want to talk about or think about too much with the parents. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, yeah, no, it's, it's always a risk. Like you said, like, there's a risk involved. But, you know, every good adventure has a, has a risk. Otherwise, it's just a holiday, you know? 
Exactly. Oh, that is, I love that quote. Yeah, you, you can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> on 91.7 ABC Gold Coast, I'm joined today by Taj Davis. He has just arrived on the Gold Coast. It is warm in here, uh, probably compared to the Pacific Ocean. I can see you, uh, you know, wanting to take your jacket off. Uh, Taj has just arrived from uh, about eleven and a half months. So he left in in March. If we're if we're being technical, if you, you want to get technical. You want to get technical. You left the US in March. Yes. Uh, by himself, sailed all the way, and uh, had quite a few adventures on the way. I know. Today is, you know, you, you won't have an opportunity to talk about all of the things you got up to, but what were some of the most amazing moments on board by yourself? Well, so the first leg from from uh, Panama to the Marquesas, which is just north of Tahiti for people that don't know, um, it was 37 days, which is kind of a long time to be at sea by yourself. But I will say one of the most amazing things was coming in after all that time, just, you know, seeing Horizon and, you know, birds, dolphins, mm -hmm. and then to finally show up. And they're probably some of the most spectacular islands in the South Pacific as well, you know, high volcanic kind of places. So showing up somewhere like that after so much time, just looking at the ocean was pretty special. Um, and also, closer to Australia, Vanuatu, all the volcanoes in Vanuatu was just amazing. I've had, you know, I've seen lava pits and exploding in my face and all sorts of cool stuff hot springs yeah yeah just so many good places it's really hard to talk about like what's the the most amazing yeah yeah i suppose being by yourself for so long um and on the ocean having to rely on yourself is it hard then to come back and everyone wants to talk to you and everyone wants to catch up are you feeling a bit smothered yet are you feeling like you you're because you've been back how many days Two, not even forty-eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Already you're on radio. Yeah, yeah. Bit of you're drinks with the neighbours. Right, yeah. Right. yeah, is it is it hard to sort of um, you know catch up mind-wise? Oh, it, it's definitely different. I mean, I did towards the end there. I did end up craving some bit of human company and like friends. So it's really nice to to have all these loved ones around me now. But it is definitely like the first night we came back. For example, we went to the yacht club for dinner. And it was just so many people everywhere. You know, even even after a leg of 10 days or two weeks, regardless of the six months beforehand, it's a yeah. bit strange. So, I can well imagine. Yeah, it is, it is pretty intense here on the Gold Coast. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's an intense place. <laughs> Steve, well, you've just landed in uh, in the thick of schoolies too. I mean, there's a there's a lot of people here at the moment, a lot of extras. <laughs> Steve, yep. it must be so good to have Taj back. Uh, absolutely, yeah, especially given the last week, which we haven't really talked about. Um, about a week before he arrived home, it was going yeah. to be ten days. Uh, and 25 knots of wind, correct me if I'm wrong, Taj. He tore both his sails. All three. Uh, all three sails. <laughs> and then 48 hours before he was due in, the forestay, which runs from the top of the mast to the front of the boat, basically holds the mast up. That broke. And um, Didn't yeah. lose the mast, though. Yeah, and so he, he, you know, he made it good, and it was very lucky he didn't lose the whole mast. So I was mission control for the last week, you know, coordinating volunteer marine rescue who I can't speak highly enough and you know various authorities and uh, just making it happen so when he got in I actually had a really good night's sleep that night for the first night in you know, a while months <laughs> yeah. and me too <laughs> <laughs> have things stopped swaying for you or? they have yeah, yeah that lasted about 12 hours or so. it must be weird it is a weird sensation. It is quite a weird sensation. And then you get on the beers and you're wonky again. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You get on the beers and it corrects it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> is it true you had 37 days without seeing someone? Yeah. So that was that was the first leg I mentioned from Panama. Mm. Um, yeah, 4,000 miles, I guess. Did you fear? Um, I mean, we're you know we're laughing about pirates, etc. But did you fear um, encountering any? Any real dangers in terms of pirates? Or? I, I did have a couple guys come. It was actually quite amazing. It was about 60 miles off the coast of Ecuador on the Pacific side. And um, and they a couple guys came out in this, must have been a four-meter launch with an outboard all the way offshore and came up on me. And uh, they, I mean, they wanted some food and I gave them some food. But I didn't, I thought maybe could have been a piracy situation, but they didn't. So other other than that, 
no. Yeah, right. They said this bloke's just got a few stale crackers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. There's nothing they, good they here. They looked at the side of the boat, the rough stands. <laughs> I'm out there naked and hairy. <laughs> they didn't want any of that. Well, there are photos of Taj's bum on his Facebook page if you really... Look, I had you, to scroll through you, for research, Taj. You don't want to see him. Don't, don't go there. But your, uh, your Facebook site is Taj... This is a, a public Facebook yeah, site that you've pu- set public. up, Steve. Taj Davis, Sailing Solo US to Australia 2017. And there are some amazing photos of your adventures. That looks like perhaps Vanuatu, is that Vanuatu, right? Vanuatu, yes. Uh, some of those amazing lava pits, as well as the journey that Steve has tracked. Can I ask you, Taj, is it too early to ask what's next? <laughs> <laughs> We've been having this conversation. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I would definitely like to keep sailing mm. more. The, the kind of strange thing is with all the, the problems we were talking about in the last leg, I think before that, I, I don't want to say I was bored, but it was like you know getting kind of monotonous towards the yeah. end. Yeah. Um, but then at the end, that was when the real struggle was. And I think that kind of made me want to do it, do it more, you know, yeah. that like kind of made me a bit more determined. So, um, will it be sailing related? Do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. it would have to be. I don't know what I could do after this. Maybe fly a plane would be exciting, but any, <laughs> Watch any, out, Dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, we've got to talk about this. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would, I would, there's a lot of nice spots around Australia, Australia itself. And then you've got Indonesia, New Zealand, Asia. It's a big, big ocean. It's a big ocean. It's a big ocean. It's all there for the taking. It is. Taj, I would love to talk uh, with you longer, but of course, time restricts us. It has been such a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you so much for having us. And we will keep track of your journey now. Now we know where to find you. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Keep an eye on the map. You'll you'll know when I leave again. Yes, Taj Davis, Sailing Solo, US to Australia 2017 is the name of the Facebook site. And you can take a look exactly where Taj has been. Steve. And you can see my bum too. And you can see his bum. Let me just highlight that. (laughs) Lovely. And that's a fishing rod in his (laughs) hand. Yeah, yeah. Quite a big one too, I might, I might add. Right, I fell, it's right, I. You've been at Sea Boy yourself for a long time, yeah. Taj. Thank you so much for coming in, and perhaps when you uh, when you're about to embark on your next journey, we'll get you in again. Yeah, we'll talk again. Thank you so much, Taj Thank Davis. You. Dad, Steve Davis, great okay. to meet you, and all the very best. Enjoy some land time, please. Will do.